Hey guys, welcome back to Frost Gaming. Today we're going to be doing a crazy, crazy build. I did a $15,000 computer uh, build guide uh, a couple days ago, and you guys wanted to see that one that was a little bit more expensive. So I did so, and I went online and found the most expensive parts that I could find uh, without going too overboard. But I mean, how do you go too overboard on something that's already overboard anyway? So. Without further ado, but guys, I'm gonna put, I'm not even gonna put the links for these down below. You know what, you know what, I will. If you guys wanna buy them, don't do it. Just don't do it. You, you can spend your money much better somewhere else. Um, some of the parts, like one of the graphics cards is like $5,000, just for one of them. And there's four of them in this build, uh, quad SLI. So it's just, oh man, it's crazy. <laughs> it's, all right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the build, guys. So for the CPUs, we've got two Intel Xeon E5 2699V3s. These are octa-core processors running at 2.3 gigahertz. They are running 39.50 each. That's $3,950 for each CPU. So that's $7,800 $7, just for two CPUs. Wow. <laughs> that's... That's ridiculous. Sorry for the silence, but I, I'm sure you guys are just like in awe on your faces too. Now, as you saw by the title, this is a $50,000 build. Before we get into the motherboard, I just wanted to tell you guys, if you wanna add desk and desks and lighting and monitor mounts, you know, things like that, you could easily get this over 50,000 or uh, get this over 50,000 or $55,000 or whatever it may be. So. This is just crazy. Uh, that's why I put $50,000 on the title. So, okay, so moving on to the motherboard. Uh, from ASUS, we have the EEB, which is a dual CPU motherboard, ASUS Extreme Quality, 256 gigabytes max of uh, RAM that you can put into this. It's running $578 right now. So on Amazon, in a, a dual CPU motherboard for 578 bucks, that's actually a pretty good deal considering that some x99 boards and some um, z170 boards could get that price but for a dual cpu where are you gonna find okay say you paid 578 dollars for this this motherboard you're gonna spend almost five thousand to anywhere from four thousand to eight thousand on cpus so <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm blowing, I, you guys, I was putting these parts in the parts list and I'm like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. Okay, so moving on to the RAM, we've got two, two quad sticks of crucial RAM. And, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm just flabbergasted right now. 128 gigabytes, so it's times two. So that's four 32 gigabytes, or eight 32 gigabyte sticks. 256 gigabytes total, DDR4. These are running, for a four pack, you're running at $1,213. Wow, that's just crazy. I know I'm acting so surprised. This is not acting. I'm just like, this is crazy. Who would even build something like this? I'm sure somebody has, like Linus Tech or something like that, but this is just nuts. This is crazy, nuts, over the top. Why would you do it? And you shouldn't. <laughs> So for this, uh, solid states, we have Samsung 850 Pros. There, there are four two terabyte 850 Pros. Uh, use it as your mass storage and your boot, boot drive or whatnot. And they are excellent quality, super speed, and they're running 873 each right now. So 873 per solid state, and there's four of them. So moving on to the GPUs. Now this is where it gets expensive. The GPUs, you have four Pony Quadro M6000s. 12 gigabytes of VRAM each, four display ports, and they're running $4,895 a piece. That's ridiculous. $4,895 a piece. And that's on sale right now. The original price is like six grand. No. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. By the way, I had somebody comment on my last video, the $15,000 build. He commented and he says, I'm not trying to make this person famous or anything, but he commented and he says, I was kind of hoping to see you build this. And I'm like, well, I could afford it, but do I want to? No. Um, it, it's just kind of a build guide for you guys. Just something fun to do to see how expensive and crazy that 
PC builds can get. The one behind me, be, guys, besides these builds, if you guys want something a lot more practical and just something to start off with, or if you want like a like a triple monitor setup type thing, by the way, this has two triple monitor setups. So three on top, three on the bottom. Um, look at the parts list for everything. Um, it's in every single one of my videos for everything behind me, everything that I use on a daily basis. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the power supply. So the power supply is an EVGA Supernova 1600 watt, fully modular, 80 plus titanium power supply. It's running $407 right now. I have something pretty similar to this, but I have the NZXT version of it. And fully modular definitely means something because you can only plug in the cords that you need. So you don't have all that extra cordage that you, <laughs> that's not even a word, don't, don't quote me on that. Um, you, you don't have to use all those extra cords that are just there. You know, you have to plug them away somewhere, tie them up and hide them. Um, fully modular is actually really nice. Um, now this build requires like 1650 watts under load. So you might need a second second power supply, who knows? I don't know if the if the case in this build has a second power supply slot, but I guess you can, I digress, you can go and look at the pictures and specs and see if it does. But anyways, so for the case, we have a Lian Lee V2130WX, eight total drive bays, ATX full tower. It's on wheels, like this case is on wheels, guys. It's really crazy. It's running $562 right now, which is not, typically a bad deal, but um, full tower cases, like I have an ultra tower uh, H630W from NZXT, all metal, silent case, and it's only it was only like 150 or something like that. Why would you pay 500 plus dollars for, or even, even 300 plus dollars for a case? I understand, okay, maybe a case labs case, but not like a Lee and Lee, no. So last but not least, we have six Acer Predator X34 monitors, 34 inch ultra wide, 1440p resolution. There are six of them and they're running $1,212 each. $1,212 each monitor and there's six of them. Guys, like I said before, this build is just basically a build guide for any kind of rich Saudi Arabian oil company kid that wants to build a crazy setup. If you are watching this, you want the links to everything, they are down below. If you guys want to see, I don't think I can get much more expensive unless I include like the desks and the monitor mounts and all that stuff. I, I'm pretty sure I can get it up to a hundred grand if I use like TV screens and whatnot. I, 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 you know what? If you guys want to see a more expensive build, I will do that. But just know that it'll be like TV screens, borderless TV screens, like the new LGs or the Samsung's like 85 inch TVs, but there'll be like six of them. So if you guys wanna see something like that, definitely let me know. Also, there's gonna be um, some car vlogs coming up. I actually have my, uh, I'm getting my classic car on from my family on Wednesday of this week. So if you guys wanna see some car vlogs, definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also leave a like on the video and share it around so maybe we can make this video popular on YouTube so a bunch of people can see it. Also guys, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay frosty.